How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. That's me. Thanks for joining us here on the channel. This is our UAP Monday through Friday channel, although I missed yesterday. I know. Had some stuff going down, and I just couldn't get to it. But we do everything we can to make sure we get you Monday through Friday a video up here to talk about what's going on in the world of UAP news. We have a Tuesday show, which is UAP Tuesdays, where we try to cover a bunch of shows within about an hour, an hour and a half worth of time. Um, we have the latest episode up there, so thanks for joining us for that. We're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify, we're everywhere podcasts are found. So what is the big story of the week, not even necessarily with UAP, and that's the presidential debate? That's going down tonight, man. Or uh, tomorrow. Wait, what the hell is today? Today's Wednesday? I don't even know what today is anymore. Today's Thursday. So it's tonight. Uh, and the debate is going to happen. And so there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk about whether or not there's going to be a question about UAPs. The Paradigm Institute is also... They put out this whole entire uh, like ad display of, about... Whether or not someone had campaign or whether or not they were going to be able to do this, whether or not people were going to ask, they were encouraging CNN to make sure that they ask. And I covered it. Lots of other people covered it. I'm skeptical. I don't think CNN is going to ask the question. But there's more people that are starting to say, will it happen more aside the mainstream? And recently, Donald Trump, former president, looking to become president again, was on with Logan Paul. And so this article from Fox News is pretty much saying that Trump is like, yeah, something's going down. And he, the question is, are they going to ask him about it? Because it seems like he's playing towards the UAP audience now. But listen to this article in general, and then you tell me what you think on the other side of it. Here it is. All right, first of all, Disclosure Party had tweeted this out. Former President Trump admitted he has UFO files, and ahead, that's ahead of the debate with President Biden. So here's the article itself. Trump says he has UFO files. Will he be asked about it at the debate? Former President Trump admitted he has UFO files ahead of the Thursday showdown with President Biden, but will he release them to the public? That's the question fueling the disclosure debate social media campaign to urge the debate moderators to include UAPs in this week's showdown. The next president of the United States will make critical decisions about UAPs. The new Paradigm Institute chief counsel, Daniel Sheehan, has said it's time for all presidential candidates, Joe Biden, Robert F. Kennedy and Donald Trump to commit to the UFO, UAP disclosure and transparency. Regardless of political affiliation, the time has come to inject UAP into the political discourse of our elections. Trump was a guest on Logan Paul's YouTube podcast Impulsive last week, where they covered a wide range of topics. The Republican contender for commander in chief was asked if he was a believer, and if he had access to UFO-related files. He says, I met with pilots who looked like beautiful Tom Cruise, but taller, handsome, perfect people, Trump told Paul, and I looked at these guys, and they really mean it. Paul asked, but don't you have access to that information? He said, I have access, and I speak to people about it, and I've had actual meetings on it, Trump responded, and they will tell you something is going on. People that are really smart, really solid, said they believe there is something out there. The New Paradigm Institute, a nonprofit advocating UFO transparency, started the social media push weeks ago and tamped up its efforts as the Thursday's face-off gets closer. Sheehan said on X that they have sent communications to over 100,000 people to contact not only the campaigns of three major candidates, Biden, Trump, and Bobby Kennedy, but also the debate moderators. So they're getting lots and lots of requests to ask this question, he said. Our representatives need to know that their constituents demand an open and transparent government. And Tim Burchett, obviously, with the quote of, they spent all this time telling us they don't exist and release the files. The UFO topic has been an ongoing subject in Congress with a bipartisan effort, including new laws, under oath hearings where whistleblowers have come forward. So they go a little bit more into the history of it, to which we've covered that many times over here on this channel. But the, the, the story there is more so of the idea of whether or not they're going to be covering this topic at all. With the push. Now, what I'll say is this. Now, we get many times on this show, and I've told you many times on this show, that I don't love that we don't get any mainstream coverage, right? Now, I don't know if they covered this on the actual news program on Fox News, but I know that they at least covered it there, and they're asking the question. And if more websites start asking the question of which, and we're not going to have much more time because we're going to find out tonight, but if more people start doing that, 
that's how it starts to get picked up because something like this, you know, Fox News is covering it, talking about Trump, whether or not he says he's got these files, will they ask him about it? That's the way you get into it is now what, what he said is like, I have the files, follow up with it, and then get Biden's response on it. That's what I think. But talk a little bit more about this here. Brought in Pavel. Pavel, how's it going? Hey, how you doing, Christian? Good. Good, good to see you, man. Thank you. So, yeah, this is one where I have so many different thoughts on this because the first side of it is, yes, you get this social media push. And do I think that both Biden and Trump have been briefed on this topic? Of course I do. Of course I do. Do I also think that Trump knows that, hey, there is a big group of people who are very passionate about this thing, and this guy ain't talking about it. And I know how much Logan Paul's in it. I know what his, his audience is going to say. He knows the right things to say when to say them, for sure. It's not to say that he hasn't been briefed, not to say he doesn't have certain things, but he also knows how to play to a certain audience, and he very well could be doing that, maybe also realizing CNN's never going to ask me that stuff. Um, but where do you make all of this, first of all? Well, First of all, I think that you remember last year when the shoot downs happened yes. and Kirby talked about it. That means that was direct confirmation that Biden knows about this stuff because sure. Kirby was talking about it in public. That's one. And two, Fox News are the only mainstream news network that has been covering the UFO topic since the Tucker days. And whether whoa, you like whoa, whoa. it or what about, not. What about News Nation? No, but they're not mainstream, though. I'm talking about the mainstream ones. You You're know? talking about the ones that are on The TV. big ones. Sure. The ones that have millions sure. of uh, sure. people, you know? Sure. And uh, on, on open television, open networks. But I would consider this like a win, but something that I really don't like, that it's starting to permeate into the UFO topic, is that we're in an election year, and politics is starting to contaminate the topic. I man. agree. And it's been happening for a while. Yep. And that can't happen because we're supposed to all be like nonpartisan about this stuff. I know I'm Mexican, but I've been following politics for a while too. And I know how this works though. And I think that, for example, Burchett has done some comments that are very partisan yeah. uh, on the UFO topic. And I think that's detrimental to the whole cause. And all I can hope is that I don't have any high hopes for the debate either. But I can I do hope that we can get past this after the the election and hopefully we can get together again, you know, because it's it was only normal that we would get a little bit divided in election year. Of course. I mean, yeah, no, of course. It's, it's yeah, normal. I couldn't agree with you more on all of that. And it is it has been very disappointing to hear Burchett. He's been doubling down on it, calling out everything that Schumer and Garcia have been doing is nonsense and this. It's like He's he's been he's been disappointing recently in the way that he's been so partisan. Um, but I think that w what is right and what Danny Sheehan says is that whoever the pre next president is, they're going to get this question to where it's going to have to be a, a, a more bipartisan thing. It's going to be directed at them, and they're going to be the ones that's going to be responsible to say, "Hey, what do you have?" I do think that we if if you get it if there's out of the two of them. If there's one of them that's going to even slip up to say, yeah, this person told me that, and that's what happened. It's going to be Trump, right? He's yeah. Gonna, and he's going to exactly. go, yeah, they told me, of course, there's aliens running around. I had coffee with one of them last week. Uh, Do you remember also Ross Coulthard in the latest uh, like uh, convention that he was? He talked about Trump, and he mentioned that Trump is afraid that yeah. he's going to be attacked or something if he reveals what he knows. But I found it, that very interesting. What yeah, do you think I remember. About him, that? I remember when he said that. When he had, we covered it on the show, also. Yeah, and and but it doesn't seem like that thread is as much of a thing now because he's talking about it on Logan Paul show, at least. It, yeah. But he is being careful in how he's saying it, which is the other thing. He is. He, Logan's like, well, don't you have the, that information? He's like, yeah, you know, I have the meetings, and other people seem to really believe it. Is what he says every time he's talking about it. other people. These high credible people really seem to believe it. He's not. He's not Chris Christieing it, and he's not laughing it off. Um, he's he's saying no, no. This is stuff, but he hasn't. He's not like definitively saying this is what I've been told, and these are the things. I think that the question, the question that I want to see asked at this debate, if there is one, and I and then I'll throw it to you as far as what question you would want to see. And I think it is that question: if you are elected president, if you are you know renewed as president, if you get elected again, what 
will you do with disclosure moving forward and will you release classified documents i know what the answer will be it'll be a, it'll be one of those answers of well we'll do everything we can to find out the right information and work with dod and work with arrow and you know that it'll be that but at least they asked the question to get people going wait a minute these guys are taking that serious because that would be because if you get some goofball like chris christie who laughs it off it, then it, it just adds to the people laughing in the audience and then other people not taking it serious. But if they adds, even if it's a complete political answer that they're not, you don't get any, you know, real answer out of it, at least they're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, the question that I, that I would ask, I would take a different approach as in, I would ask first by prefacing that we're not talking about little green men or right. uh, beings from other planets what we're talking about is that the airspace in America is at risk and has been at risk and what they plan to do about it. I would take that approach because it's less uh, stigmatized yeah. and it will put them on the spot to uh, t say what, they, what they're going to do about it. The about only problem with that, the only problem with that is that for, and I'm thinking more so in the long run of the average person who's watching it. Because if the average person is watching that and, that, and that question is asked, which is a very valid question to ask, but if that person is sitting down watching it and they go, oh, because who knows, it's probably drones, it's probably drones, it's probably this, it's probably enemy, other enemy aircraft. What, what are you gonna do about that other enemy aircraft and, and those you know, Chinese balloons and all that? They're not gonna think of anything else you know, that, this, that the topic is potentially real and there are actual files out there and there's classified stuff and there's more, to meet the eye, if you will, that they're not telling us. Like, I would love to see an answer, which would never get in a million years of, yes, there's more there that we've been trying to push. And if it's Biden saying, Chuck Schumer has this bill that he's trying to do, we're trying to get more information. These these companies, that we will, we're gonna push on Lockheed Martin, we're gonna push on these other companies. We're gonna, there's no world you're gonna get that, but can you imagine? If one of them was like, we're going to push on Lockheed, but we, we know that there's other stuff there that they're hiding. We know for a fact there's other stuff they're hiding, and we're going to be the first ones to make sure that we can start the disclosure process now. You'd be like, what in the world is happening? Yeah, I think that if we're being realistic, yeah. um, because it's on CNN, right? Yes. And these networks that are more left-leaning, they tend to just brush it off and not even talk about it. And I think that if we're being realistic, and if they are going to ask something about that, I think they're going to take that approach that I'm telling you. I, I don't think you're think right. They're going to ask. I think you're yeah. right. I just don't think yeah. it's the way to go if you want to get. It's not. Yeah, it's not. You're yeah, right. I, I think you're. You're. That's. You're probably right. That's it. because of the stuff that we've seen in the before with the potential Chinese air, you know, balloon and and reports in the sky and things over Langley and things that because to them they might it's a little bit more safe because that stuff's actually really happening. Uh, we don't want to get into make this seem like a like a circus and. and and that you're you're right, but I just it's just not the way to go if you want to get people really going. Wait a minute! In the way that a lot of people were woken up with that New York Times article, that's what you want to happen. It's not going to happen at the presidential debate. You don't even know if they're going to ask the potential question, but it will be interesting. You, all right, so yeah, I guess we can go with that. Give me a percentage of what you think we're if we're going to get a question about UAPs tonight at the debate. It doesn't matter the question, right? But no, it just doesn't matter UAP. anything. It, the word UAP, um, UFO, UAP, and a question kind of related to that space. Given that it's CNN, which is one of the most shadiest networks in the recent years, I think it's going to be like a 30 yes and 70 no. It's a higher percentage. I was going to say about 4%. Uh, in general, I, <laughs> I find I find them all I find them all um, shady. I find Fox shady. Yeah. I find CNN shady. I find them all shady. I find them all because, and and I'll even I'll even pull back from shady. I will pull back from that word for me. It's bias. It's just bias. Yeah. It's 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 like there are a lot of people that just feel like you know because if you want to go and you want to feel like the people that your political side, then you go and watch one of those networks. And you go and you say, okay, I'm going to go. And I, you can still get the news, but you're going to get the news from places that share your point of, your um, political taste, as opposed to, there are no, don't, there are certain, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm 80 years old because I watch Lester Holt. And, <laughs> and yeah. because he doesn't, he doesn't give his opinions. Of it. He just tells you what happened today in the world. 
This is what happened. Yeah. This is what happened here. This is what happened Which here. Which is how it should be. <laughs> right. And there's a news and there's a cat stuck in a tree. And like yeah. that, like that to me, that's what I watch because I want to know the news stories in general. I don't need to know why you hate this person, why you think this person's the worst, why you think that this and this. I, it's not it's not why I watch news. I watch the news to find out what the story is. I want to clarify why I said shady though, because I have a reason for that. Yeah. Uh I I can guarantee you that many of these aerospace companies have their hands on pretty much all yeah. of these networks yeah. in one way or the other. Yeah. So that's why I say it's shady. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. I th but I but I think that it's all of them. I think it's all of them. Yeah. I don't care how many times you know Fox has covered it or others. They don't cover it at all. And when they do, they do. The, they barely even cover it at all, and they and they laugh it off to the side. In the same way that you don't. I mean, you get no coverage from whether it's uh, MSNBC or or CNN. You get no no nothing. Like when there's it, it to me the most baffling thing to me was the Chuck Schumer thing, where here's the Democratic Senate Majority Leader talking about this thing and you don't cover it and i'm not telling you that you have to say wow he says this is happening so it must be true where's that panel of people saying this is this is the senate majority leader talking about introducing this into a bill and nobody touched it so i can understand that where and it's all but that's all the major networks and that is even yeah. there's there's a large there's a larger conversation we had that we talked about it uh, again at great depth on the uh, uap tuesday this past week but as far as whether what Trump knows, what he doesn't know, if they ask Trump the, that particular question to clarify what he said on Logan Paul's show, that would be an interesting way to bring it up. And then, yeah. then you'd have to get a retort from Biden. And the um, Biden is talking to Schumer all the time. How does Biden not know about all this stuff going on? Of course he does. So he hasn't. We haven't heard a peep from him on this stuff. We've heard from Schumer, yeah. we've heard from Garcia, we've heard from AOC, we've heard from Moscow, we've heard everybody on the Democratic side, they've talked about it for sure. Biden hasn't mentioned anything, anything. Trump's mentioned something. Now, it, there are, it, the, there are. we know that he's a salesman though too. So he's like, yeah. oh, okay, there's a, big, uh, there's a big movement there. Well, guess what guys, people have talked to me about it too, which I believe, but he's also probably, he's not stupid to go, hey, hey, well, I, I know stuff. I'm not going to tell you just yet. Wait until after November. You know what I mean? I also think it's very important that, that they're not allowing RFK Jr. to be part of the debate because he's talked about it too. Yeah, know? why and aren't they letting him be part of it? Because he's a part, he, they, they consider him like a pariah because he's against the networks for their bias. Yeah, but that's, you know? not, but that's not what this is. This is a guy who's running for president. You got to have everybody who's uh, running for president should be in the debate. It's what I'm saying about Shady and how yeah. compromised they are. And they don't I ever cover him either. They don't ever, I, no one covers no, him. No, I yeah. just hope that they have guts, the moderators, to at least think about asking the question because uh, people, us, we've been making a lot of noise, man. It's not it's not like they don't know everybody's talking about this, you know? Uh, and even though a lot of people who talk about this brush it off and think it's nonsense, yeah. they're still talking about it, you know? They're, they're like, oh, that UFO stuff. Yeah. Oh, you know, but they know it's in the air. Everybody knows. I know. I just, I'm so curious. I'm, yeah, my, I, I, I think I, even four percent. I think is high. I don't think there's any world that it, that it it happens. There's no way that Tapper and Bash ask any. They're not going to ask it. And if they do, glass they, half full. Glass. Yeah, half I know. Full. I know. But there's. <laughs> I think they're going to be kind of like you know a snort out of the side of their face if they do, and it's still they're still not taking it as serious yet. But maybe look, maybe they maybe. Maybe they prove us wrong, and maybe they do bring up something like that. So we'll see. Nonetheless, we'll know by tomorrow, and maybe maybe you'll join me here tomorrow as we're covering the particular question. If because I, I'll guarantee you that if they do ask the question, whatever the question is, me and you will be back here tomorrow discussing that question. Oh yeah. But I feel like I'm going to be doing a video myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pavel. Thanks for joining me, man. I appreciate you. Take care, Christian. Have a good one. All right, guys. So what do you think? Do you think this is going to happen? you think it is going to be just forgotten about, ignored? And if so, if it is brought up, will Trump dive a little bit more into what he's talking about? If they ask directly about what he was alluding to on Logan Paul's podcast, what will Biden's response be? Will he talk about it? Will they bring up? Can you imagine if... What I just said as far as what, with uh, if Tapper says, back in 
December of last year, Chuck Schumer, Senate Majority Leader of the House, put forth an amendment for more UAP disclosure and has been adamant about UAP disclosure. What is this topic? How serious is this topic? And if you are, once again, President of the United States, will you start to take this more serious and will you make this and address this towards the American public? How do they both answer that? Guess what? I'm not the moderator, so I don't know if they're ever going to ask that question. But thanks for joining us here today. I appreciate it. Really, really sincerely, thank you. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get closer to 30,000 subscribers than to 50 and on and on and on because we want people talking about the topic. So thanks for joining me. Follow myself. Follow Pavel. You can always find Pavel's link to his YouTube channel in the description below. But that's it, man. Comment away. Let's get people talking. See you later.